guys, it's Riley or Riles Thrifted over on Instagram and Poshmark and today I'm going to do a what sold video. So these are going to be my sales from like the beginning to the middle of June. Um, I'm going to tell you what I paid for the item and ultimately what my profit was. So to start out, I sold these Athleta Sculpt leggings. They sold for $30, which leaves me with $24. I paid $5 for them and that's a $19 profit. Next, I sold these Fuka hiking boots, and they sold for $35. My earnings are $28, and I believe I paid $5 for them, which leaves me with a $23 profit. I definitely recommend picking up this brand. I have a pair of hiking like tennis shoes I need to get listed. Then I sold this Free People Gemma dress for $25. It was sitting in my closet for a while, and I've seen people selling them for a little bit higher price and a lot faster, so maybe I didn't have the right color in this dress. Um, it left me with an earnings of $20, and I believe I paid $6 for it, which is $14 profit. Next, I sold these Doc Martin boots. I love selling Doc Martins. They're always a great sale. I will pay up for them. Uh, these sold for $65. I think I paid $20, $22, which leaves me with a $30 profit. Next, I sold this Adidas crop top. Uh, I don't pick up a lot of Adidas, but I grabbed this because it has the retro logo, very trendy right now, and it's crop top. Uh, it was sold at ASOS, which always helps. Uh, it sold for $20. I paid $4, which leaves me with a $12 profit. Next, I sold these Bowden shorts. I originally bought them thinking they'd be for myself, but they didn't fit away I liked. Um, they also had some stains, so I sold them for $20. I paid $5 which leaves me with 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11. With an $11 profit, which is fine. Next, I grabbed this newer tag cabbie cardigan. It sold for $46. It was sitting in my closet for a little bit. I thought it would sell faster, but I'm happy with the sale. I paid uh, $5, I believe. So that leaves me with $31.80 profit. Next, I grabbed these Born shoes. I grabbed these at last chance, um, last, like, winter 2018, January, wait, Jan okay, January 2018, which is a long time ago. They were just sitting in my death pile. I don't know why I never listed them. Um, I think I only paid a few bucks for them. I don't really remember. I'd have to check my spreadsheet. So I've had them for a while. They weren't listed in my closet for a long time, but they've just been sitting in my death pile. So I took the $22 offer I got on them, which left me with $17.60. Um, I don't know how much I paid. I probably have like a $15 profit on those, which is still good. Next, I got these Sam Edelman shoes. I picked them up from Last Chance. They sold for $35. Uh, I think I paid $6 for them, which leaves me with a $22 profit. I'm happy, like, I love when my profits are $20. If they're under, that's okay, but 20 and over, I'm like, yes. So this is just June 4th. Maybe I'll go up to, like, June 15th. Next, I sold this Intimately Free People bralette. It sold for $14. I picked these up from Last Chance. Um, although I think they stopped carrying, like, they call them Junior's bras. So I haven't seen them. I didn't check last time I was there, but I paid $4 for this one. Um, it left me with a $11 um, earnings, which is a $7 profit. Uh, it's okay. I had this one in my closet for a long time. I was just glad to get rid of it. Next, I sold these fry sandals. I grabbed these at last chance in September. I was gonna keep them for myself, but I just ended up listing them and I think I paid $24 for them because I was just going to keep them for myself. They sold for $50, which gave me $40 earnings. So $40, which gives me a $16 profit. It's fine. I mean, I don't really want to be spending $25 to profit $16, but it was okay. Next, I sold this Anthropology HD in Paris like jumpsuit. Uh, it was sitting in my closet for a long time, but it did end up selling for full price, I think, after I lowered the price, um, which left me with $36.80. I paid $6, which leaves me with like a $30 profit. Next, I picked up these Vineyard Vines boy shorts. Um, I don't love selling Vineyard Vines anymore, but these have like the American flag whale 
and I just figured they'd do good for summer. They sold for $17. I think I paid $4, which gives me it's like a $9 profit. Next, I sold this fossil purse. It has been in my closet for a very long time. I'm not sure exactly how long, but like a very long time. Um, I think I got an offer on it. Maybe not. I don't remember. It sold for $36, which leaves me with $28.80. I think I paid $7 for it. I really like Fossil for myself. I have a Fossil purse, and I think it is a popular brand, but their canvas stuff I'm going to try and stay away from. I think the leather products do a lot better. Next, I sold these Fabletics leggings. Uh, these have been in my closet for at least a year. I probably should have relisted them, but I'm just lazy and never did. They sold in an offer for $20. That leaves me with $16. I think I paid five, so $11 profit. Next, this Lulu's wrapper sold. You may have seen it in a haul. It depends when that haul is posted. It sold really fast. I love selling Lulu's. It sold for $25, which leaves me with a $20 profit. No, which leaves me with $20 earnings. I think I paid like $7 for it. $13 profit. Uh, uh, I hate math. Next, I sold this Sundance dress. I have like a love-hate relationship with Sundance. Some of it sits in my closet forever, but also some of it sells pretty fast. This dress was pretty fast moving. It was a good size. It was a size 10. It was 100% silk and it had some flaws, or not some flaws, it had just like a little bit of pulling in the seam. But it still sold for $38. I paid six, which leaves me with a, a $24 profit. I was really happy about this sale. It's a bundle sale of New Orleans knitwear. I actually grabbed both of these from the Nashville bins. So I paid like $1.20 total for them. I think I paid like 60 cents an item. Um, I'd never heard of the brand before, but when I was in the bins, I felt it and I could just tell it was a nice brand. So I grabbed them without doing any research on it, got home and they retail for a lot. I don't think this is a brand you'll really come across, but if you do, I pick it up. Anyway, this bundle sold, this bundle sold for $40, leaving me with a $30 and 20 cents earnings, which is like a $29 profit, right? That's pretty good. Thank you, Nashville Bins. I wish I lived closer to you, but you're seven hour drive away. This shirt sold super fast. It is super on trend. It's Unif pastel tie dye, which is really popular right now. Tie dye, I mean. Um, it's a good size, it was a large. Uh, I listed at like $42 and it got a lot of likes right away. So I sent offers to Likers, sold for 37, minus my like $1.80 shipping discount. Left me with an earning of $27.80. I bought it for $5, so I got a $22 profit. All right, you also might've seen this in my haul. If it's up, I don't know. It's on my dad's computer, you don't care. Okay, um, a Brandy Melville dress that I paid too much for. I don't know what I was thinking, it's so cute. I guess maybe I kind of wanted it for myself, but I mean, I would never wear it anyway. It sold for $18, leaving me with a $14.40 earnings. I paid $6, which is an $8 profit. Um, it sold really fast though. I mean, like in a day or two, so. Let me know down below in the comments, would you pick up, spend $6 to make $8? I don't know, wasn't a bad sale. Next, I sold these One State Boots. These are Nordstrom brand, they're like laser cut. I picked them up at Goodwill for five bucks. They sold for 25, which is $20 earnings minus $5 is a $15 profit. I'm happy with it. Then I grabbed these J. Jill shoes, these ones. And these were also in my haul. They sold relatively fast. They're a good size. They sold for $25, which leaves me with $20. I spent $5, leaving me $15. And this is going to be my last day of sales. This was Father's Day. Um, first, I sold these Ivanka Trump shoes. I do like picking up Ivanka Trump if the style is pretty simple, like classic style and it's not overpriced. I'll pay like $5 for them, which is what I paid for these. So they sold for $30, leaving me with a $24 earnings minus my $5 is $19, right? I hope. Next, I sold this super cute free people dress. Uh, 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 uh. I'm cutting that out. 
this hasn't been in my closet too long maybe about uh three weeks to a month it sold for $35 I paid six dollars which leaves me with a $22 earnings all right next I sold these anthropology chino pants um I don't know if I'm gonna continue picking up like anthropology chino pants they don't sell very well obviously as you can see these only sold for $15 I paid five dollars which only leaves you with a seven dollar profit they're sitting in my closet for a long time it's just hard you know when you see anthropology you don't want to leave it behind sadly i do have a bunch of these like anthropology chino pants sitting in my death pile so i don't think i'm gonna get a lot of profit there i was just happy to take the offer next i sold these tom's wedges like uh bronzy metallic these were a bad buy on my part i didn't realize how flawed they were when i got home so i sold them for 14 dollars an offer to Likers. It was on an offer to Likers. I was just glad to get them out. I ended up with the uh, earnings of nine dollars and twenty five cents. I paid five dollars, I think, which is only a four dollar profit. I was just glad to get them out. Tom's isn't a brand I really pick up anymore either. Next was this Hannah Anderson girls dress. I picked up at the Missouri bins. I paid probably about sixty cents for it. It sold for $10, my earnings are $7, minus 60 cents is like six something, right? Next are these men's Keen shoes. I definitely recommend picking up Keens. I didn't know these were men's when I grabbed them, I just saw Keens. And I still sell men's Keens. I love selling men's Keens. I love selling Keens. Kids Keens, women's Keens, men's Keens. These aren't listed very long, but they were sitting in my death pile and I just was done looking at them. So I sent an offer to Likers, they sold for $28. Which leaves me with a $20.60 earning, minus probably like the $5 I paid for them, so about $15. And my very last sale were these Saludos. I grabbed these from Last Chance. I think I paid $11 for them. Um, they were flawed, so I'm glad they sold for the $35. These were also sold on offers to Likers. That left me with an earnings of $26.20. Minus like the $11 I paid for them, so about a $15 profit. Alright guys, so that was everything that sold for me in the first half of June. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you learned a few brands, or... Let me know if you want to see more What Sold videos, I might do the second half of June. I have a ton more hauls coming up, and so stay tuned.